Hi Aquarius, it's Maria, InsightfulAstrology.com. Welcome to May. I have a lot to talk to you about, but it all has to do with the same area of your life, basically. Okay, so there are some months where you just have an overwhelming concentration of energy in a specific area of life. And this is one of those months. So while I know that there's other things going on for you, and we'll touch on it. I have to say that this month, it's predominantly going to be about home and family matters, your security, your connections with your relatives. There's a lot happening there, okay? And it begins at the new moon on the 4th. This new moon is happening in your fourth house of home family real estate, and a lot of you Aquarians out there are going through major changes in your domestic world. I've talked to you a lot already about Uranus being in this area of your chart. So Uranus is the planet of awakening. It is the planet of major change, major upheaval. Uranus connecting to the fourth house is one of the most reliable astrological indicators of a geographic relocation. And very likely, Aquarius will be moving more than once over the next several years because Uranus will be in your fourth house until April of 2026. So this Uranian energy is about to be stimulated into action this month. The new moon starts this new beginning energy. There is a change happening for you at home. There is maybe a move potential for you happening this very month. There could be new relationship dynamics forming between you and a relative that make you feel more liberated in your family, that make you feel freer to be who you are as an individual in your family. Mercury is entering the same area of your chart a couple days later on the 6th. So there's going to be a lot of communication with relatives. Maybe you are connecting with relatives that you haven't talked to in a while and there's some kind of reunion happening. It's possible that you'll be having lots of conversations with siblings since Mercury rules sibling. It's also possible that you're um, making agreements and decisions about family matters this month in a significant way new decisions. As if that energy wasn't enough. Oh, and you might make a snap decision, like a quick family decision on the 8th when Mercury and Uranus are exactly conjunct. This could also be a mental outburst from one of your relatives. So somebody in your family might just sound crazy to you that day. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's Albert Einstein energy when Mercury and Uranus are conjunct each other, but people often think that those innovative thoughts are a little crazy at first because it's new and we're not comfortable with something that we haven't been exposed to before or have never heard of before or can't wrap our heads around. And that's the energy that's showing up for you on May 8th relating to either a relative or a family situation. But then on the 15th, Venus enters the fourth house as well. And now we've got harmony. We've got happy. We've also got this, um, you know, this feeling of support for individuality by family members. And, and I am saying that very specifically because the individuality part is Uranus. And the support and the harmony is Venus. And they're coming together on the 18th. Venus and Uranus will be conjunct in your fourth house of home and family. So I don't know. You're, it's like your relatives are giving you permission and support to wave your freak flag, whatever that means for you. There may also be some non-traditional situation happening in your family that works for everybody. This could be anything. This could be anything, but it goes against the grain of what you're used to and how you grew up maybe in your family unit. 
and yet it's necessary to retain the harmony of your family. And this could also be a sudden move, a sudden opportunity to go into business with a family member, sudden opportunity to do something financially with a family member, or again, a sudden real estate opportunity that you have that comes up in May. Now, there is career news for you as well this month and a focus, more of a focus on work. So the full moon on the 18th will land at the top of your chart and you're going to have recognition for something that you've achieved professionally. And this could be as simple as you getting an award or honor. Well, it's not simple, but that's a big deal actually. But it could be that. It could also be some of you are retiring. Some of you are ready to oh, leave your mark professionally in a way that is visible to a lot of people. So expect attention, even if it's uncomfortable about your profession near this full moon. Some of you are making a transition, a career transition. But I don't see it as a sad ending. You know, I don't see it as a fall. If there is a career transition, it's because you know it is what will empower you professionally. And on the 15th, Mars, the planet of action and energy, moves into your sixth house. That's the work sector. And my concern about Mars being in the sixth house is that you're not going to be a team player. And from the 15th until July 1st. You actually might have very little patience for, for some of your colleagues and you might be argumentative. You might not agree with how they are approaching their work, especially if you're forced to work on a team project. Oh, this could turn into a bit of a mess. So navigate it carefully. And if there is a conflict, I don't know. See if it's worth it. See if it's worth arguing over. Sometimes, sometimes the smartest thing to do is to let the other person win and you actually win by default. <laughs> and I kind of get the sense that that might happen in some way relating to your work life during the weeks that Mars is moving through your sixth house. Now, this can also be you speeding up how you do your work. And if you're working on any kind of deadline sensitive project, that could be good because you're going to meet that deadline. You're gonna to race to meet the deadline. And I don't necessarily think that you'll be sloppy about it. You're just not gonna waste time. Not gonna waste time. You might be more physically active while Mars is moving through your, your sixth house from the 15th until July 1st, because Mars is action and energy and the sixth house is health. So now you're prioritizing, you're ambitiously focused on health in some way. So it's like you're attacking illness or you're attacking the preservation of wellness by physical activity. And that's good. I like that for you. I also want to say for you guys, hmm. The two days that Uranus is getting aspected are the biggest days for you because Uranus is your ruler. So May 8th, Mercury conjunct Uranus and May 18th, Venus conjunct Uranus. And they're both, again, happening in your fourth house. So there's something happening very big in your mind, decision-wise, financially, conversation-wise with a relative or about your living situation that it needs to happen to make you all feel free in your family dynamic. However, that message fits for you. That is the message. So it's like, you're gonna have a very unusual approach to achieving domestic bliss in the month of May. All right, Aquarius? So I wish you a very happy May. If you wanna connect with me in a personal consultation, please click the link in the description box below and I will talk to you all in June. Bye.